Well, tragically, Idaho is consistently among the states with the highest suicide rates. And to fight this public health epidemic, it takes collaboration and partnerships. Which is why St. Luke's and the Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline are teaming up. They're launching a new support system this month. Morgan Boydston brings us the story. An average of one person every 12 minutes died by suicide in the United States in 2016. Idaho had the eighth highest suicide rate in the country that year. I always say that suicide prevention has to be collaborative, integrated, sustained, and adequately funded in order to be effective. The mission behind Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline's new partnership with St. Luke's. I've had this vision of being, you know, having the hotline be really integrated into the fabric of uh, mental health crisis response throughout our state. And so it's these sort of steps that get us closer to that, that dream, you know, to realizing that dream. A dream of decreasing those harrowing statistics. We always want to help more. And saving Idahoans' lives. It just makes us all stronger, makes the net tighter to be able to support folks when they find themselves in need. St. Luke's and the hotline have been in talks for a year, determining how the hotline can be a follow-up referral for patients discharged from the emergency department who are suicidal supporting them in their transition. Well, we were seeing people come in pretty soon right after they left the emergency room or the hospital. Mm -hmm. But we really know that that first call can be very intimidating, challenging. There's stigma related to that. So we're in a really unique role um, to make those outbound calls. People have to opt in to the program. Suicide Prevention Hotline Executive Director John Royser says about 36 hours after they're released, trained volunteers will reach out, assess their safety, and discuss their safety plan made at the hospital. They'll schedule a structured series of calls at least once a week over that next month. These sort of partnerships and these sort of discharge follow-up call programs are proven to reduce rates of suicidality in discharged emergency department patients. And reduce the likelihood they'll come back to the hospital. It's just a wonderful model of partnering with our community experts and other agencies to really fill this gap that's a community-wide problem. The program is starting with St. Luke's, Boise, Meridian, and Nampa hospitals, and if there are enough resources, it could go statewide to all their facilities. The hotline has a similar partnership in place already with St. Alphonsus as well. And the Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline is always there for you or someone you know that needs it. And if you know of someone thinking about suicide, call the number on your screen, that number 208-398-4357.